Praise Allah, today we are going to see what are the knowledges we could derive through our senses. Because through our senses, it is possible to derive the knowledges. Let us see that John 20, 27 says, Jesus said to Thomas, put your fingers here, see my hands, reach out your hands and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believing. Because after resurrection, Jesus appeared five times on the first day of the week. That is to Mary Magdalene, the other woman, Peter, the two Emmaus disciples, and the disciples except Thomas. And then Thomas said to the to his, to his, to his, to his disciple, to other disciples, that I won't believe until otherwise I put my hand in the Jesus wound in the um, put my finger in the Jesus wound in the hand. The next Sunday, the disciple met together, and Thomas was with them. At that time, only Jesus said like that. Stop doubting and believing. Put your finger here and see my hands. Um, so in our life also, um, we have to get, um, um, we will get the knowledge by, 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 through our senses. Uh, seven different types of knowledges we get uh, out uh, through our senses. First is outward intention. Second one is spiritual insight. Third one is God's blessing. Fourth one is outward circumstances. Fifth one is bitter experience. Sixth, sixth one is institu institutions. Seventh one is God revelation. Let us see that first of all the outward intention. Let us see in John 6 15. After Jesus um, um, pro provide food to 5,000 people, um, more than more than 5,000 people with the five, five loaves of bread and two fish. Uh, I mean, they collected the remaining of the 12 baskets of um, 12 baskets. After this happened, the people astonished and said that um, um, surely this is a prophet who is to come into the world. So they want to make him as a king because then only they, Jesus can provide food every, every day. No need for them to work. And Jesus also do so many miracles. So that uh, selfishly they want to make them the, make Jesus as a king. Jesus didn't, didn't come the first time coming as a king. First he come as a suffering the Messiah. Then if you allow that, God's will never have, happen in his life. His mission is going to be for not fulfilled. So Jesus knowing that, that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdraw again to a mountain by himself. In our lives also, if you see the outward intention, if they are going to do against him, the God's will, uh, that's just um, take care of yourself and move away from that place. And so the outward intention, uh, see, uh, through that knowledge of outward intention, take uh, um, uh, provide them, um, uh, God will provide them certain the knowledge, use that and um, um, hide from the uh, un unknown intention of the people. And then the second was a spiritual insight, um, because when Paul was teaching in Listera, there he saw a man, and that man was a sight a man who was lame from the born. He had been that way from the birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. When Paul looked directly at him, saw that he had a faith to be healed and called out, stand up on your feet. At that time, the man jumped up and began to walk. So nobody went and asked to heal this man. And that man himself didn't ask. But spiritual insight revealed Paul that he has a faith to be healed. So in our life also, we should have the spiritual insight and do the God ministry. And not only that, and uh, in bad way also you should have that um, when, pe when people want to do bad things to you uh, inwardly then there also uh, you should have a spiritual insight. Um, this happened to Nehemiah when Nehemiah was building the wall when it was going to finish um, the Thanbazadak and Tobiah uh, wanted to stop it so they sent a false prophet um, and the false prophet uh, said that um, today night um, some man is going to come and kill you so go and hide them. Uh, go go inside the temple, hide them, and close the doors, um, temple door, and hide there. Um, that's what you're giving suggestion. Then uh, Nagami are told, should a man like me run away? Should, would a man like me go into the temple to save his life? I won't go. Then they realized that God has not sent him. Instead, Tobiah and Sanbanda had hired him to prophesy against me. He was hired to intimidate me into doing this so that I would sin. I would sin. They would give me a bad reputation in order to discreet me, discreet me. So don't um, try to be the spiritual insight. Um, Try to understand how the people are telling the false prophecy against you and take care of yourself. And third one is a God's blessing because um, after even though that wall was uh, burnt for more than 200 years, um, um, Nehemiah built the wall uh, within 50 days. Um, the people around uh, around them, um, the the the, the, the bottom. Uh, the, the enemies um, who are surrounding uh, Nehemiah saw that uh, they have finished that uh, work within 52 days. Uh, all the enemies have heard about this. All the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their self-confidence. Um, they realized we have done this work with the help of our God. Certainly, when God bless you outwardly, all your enemies come to know that, that you are getting 
the god's blessing then the fourth one is the outward the circumstance um, because when paul was going to take him to uh, rome as a prisoner to stand before uh, the roman emperor so at that time it was very really late and uh, was sailing so paul went and said to the um, uh, to the centurion sailing with uh, sailing was now dangerous so paul advised the men we are not going to we are going to face a disaster and heavy losses on this voyage this disaster this uh, uh, disaster will cause damage to the cargo and the ship and it will affect our life also however the officer was persuaded by what the pilot and the owner of the ship said and not by what paul said but what paul revealed happened and uh, they lost everything the boat was they completely broken only their life were saved that too because of paul's um, intention because of god's uh, interven intervention only this happened so when the outward circumstance said something when there's a, there is a danger just to uh, take 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 that uh, instruction and take uh, uh, and avoid the danger what you are going to face um, so it was a bitter experience um, when solomon know that he was wiser than anyone who has ruled jerusalem before him he had, he had then he had, uh, then he want to take the experience because he had a lot of experience um, with the wisdom and knowledge so he wanted to use his mind to understand with the wisdom and knowledge as well as the madness and stupidness uh, now then then he came to know this is like catching the wind um, and not only that he also came to know that um, it is good to be happy in all the way that is the only thing we can do in our life because once we die nobody is going to bring back and see what is going to happen so this is maybe the bitter experience for solomon but, but that the we never life uh, being joyful in the lord is very very important that going not to the bitter experience that is the best experience for us um, sixth one is the intuition when samuel was a small child he was called by god for three times he thought that only eli is calling him each and every time he went to ask eli did you call me did you call me when the third time this happened eli realized that the lord was calling the boy so go lie down eli said samuel when he calls you say speak lord i am listening so samuel went and lay down in the room lord came and stood there he called out his name um, at this time samuel 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 replied i am listening this man became a great man of god samuel then became a judge he was act like act like a king a greatest prophet um, and god talked through samuel each and every time until he died um, so so he was used as a god's man because he correctly came to know understand the intuition that god is talking to him in our life also when god talk want to talk to you surrender yourself and god will certainly reveal what's going to happen in your life also god revelation from the one is a god revelation galatians 2:9 says um, because he, when uh, james uh, peter and john had uh, acknowledged that god has given paul and silas a special gift um, they said uh, they had they shook hand with paul uh, paul and barnabas said them um, now we are uh, partners we understood that um, god is working among you so you go and preach the gospel to the um, gentile people and we go and gospel preach, preach the gospel to jewish people so when people come to know that god has given you gift um, there there's that going to be a great revelation and god will certainly be use you in a certain area so in this way we can gain our, our knowledge through our, our senses but through our spiritual senses also we gain the knowledge um, through through the touch um, uh, through the taste um, how what the knowledge we get uh, psalm 34 8 says um, taste and see that the lord is good blessed is the person who take refuge in him what's this uh, what's the knowledge we get through the spiritual sight um, ephesians chapter 1 18 and 19 says um, uh, god that god has given god should give us a deeper insight uh, to know that um, that we have called to him um, uh, excellent calling and uh, and we are called to have the glorious wealth uh, that god's people will inter- inherit them um, so let us pray that um, let, let us have this spiritual sight uh, to have the deeper insight um, through the what the blessing we get through the spiritual hearing is that um, we hear the word of god and through through spiritual hearing we hear the word of god and accept it and receive the holy spirit let us hear that word so in a, in a way that we are hearing spiritually and receive the blessing next fourth one is how to receive the blessing by using the spiritual smell but if you give the, to the god's work um, then that will that, that 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 will be like um, smooth, smooth, smooth soothing aroma a sacrifice that god accept um, give a gift um, give money to the god's ministry and uh, get this blessing also fifth one is a spiritual touch um, the word of god is going to do the spiritual touch because word of god is living and active it is sharper than any two edged sword and cuts as deep as the place where soul and spirit meet um, the place where joint and marrow meet god's word judge a person's thought and intention in that way allow all these spiritual senses work in your life and be blessed um, i'll pray for, i'll pray for you thank you lord thank you for revealing how the spiritual senses and the physical senses work in our life to acquire the knowledge and to blessed in the name of jesus amen god bless you